All right, everyone, welcome back to the Theta Communications YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the Elite Booster launch and the significance this is going to have as we move from an inflationary model to a jobs-based economy. We are down to the last 12 minutes, just about 12, 11 minutes. And from there, let's go through the article that Theta has posted to better engage with the Elite Booster launch. First and foremost, though, let us thank our Theta stakers to our Guardian node, as well as our T Fuel stakers to one of our many Elite Edge nodes. We greatly appreciate all the support. And as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to help improve engagement on Theta related content. All right, let's dive in and go through this thing. So, this is going to be a, a big deal considering it's going to be 80 petaflops, which is an insane amount of compute power. And it looks like we're going to have 2500 A100s equivalent power. Uh, so this is going to be really cool to test out everything as well as um, see how Levita can engage, how, you know, like replay other TNT 20 tokens uh, engage on the back end in terms of content um in terms of medical research um and, and what that what that's going to bring to the table as ai gets incorporated into some of these business models so from there well let's nail down who can engage with the elite booster first and foremost is that you're going to run an elite edge node yourself and you are going to lock up 500,000 in your elite edge node and that's going to enable you to be eligible for the Elite Booster. So anything you stake after that first 500,000 on your edge node is eligible for one of these three tiers here. So whether that's 20,000, whether that's 100,000, that amount will be eligible to earn a higher yield. If it's three months, it's only going to earn the standard rate. But if you lock up for six months, 12 months, you're going to earn 50% more on your job rewards. So they've already highlighted at what that could be and tease that out. We're assuming that there's already jobs lined up, there's already compute power lined up. From the Aether side, it looks like there is a ton of H100s available. Um, but there are some business models in the background that are already looking to engage. And Theta comes in, in our last episode, we talked about a phone where the last mile and latency are going to be a, a big factor in pushing this thing forward. So you guys will all be a part of that testing process. And then from there, you'll be earning 50% more on your job rewards. So this is just the first step in movement in this direction, as well as um, locking up T-Fuel and shrinking the supply that's out there on the open market. That will have a uh, significant effect, I believe, on the, uh, the trading of T-Fuel as we push forward. So they say 2 to 4x, so we'll see how that pans out. We'll see how everything goes. We'll see how, uh, you know, how seamless everything is as people stake. I think that's going to be the biggest thing. But what's important to realize is that Theta is doing something in terms of business that I've really admired, whether it's Sliver TV, Theta TV, they set up a business and they model it out through a service. And then that acts as the demo that they bring to fundraise, bring it to meetings and have companies understand what they're trying to do and what they're trying to engage with. They did that with Theta Drop. And what's exciting with Theta Drop too the business is already set up. They have the payment rail set up, everything set up. So when we do get back into a better bull season, um, some of the synergies between the edge cloud, Theta Drop, they can all sync up and you can create a multitude of businesses on top of these layers. And there's already certain payment rails that are already engaged with. So that's amazing. With all of this too, the amount of applications that can potentially be built. We talked about a phone. Definitely go watch that video because I think the the layers is really where the gold mine is in terms of um, building and applications. Because this is just the the first foundation. 
the organizations and people that build these services on top of this is really where the monetary value, in my opinion, comes in. Because now you can build out very niche things with text to image, right? You can build an a very specific text to image allocator that just makes certain images for for people right so you can hone in your business model and just make certain types of content and you can make your own payment mechanism all sorts of stuff and the end user just really cares about generating the content and they want to generate good content um, that's specific to what they're inputting right and I think that's that's a layer that's really untapped right now. So I think as we push forward, those will all grow. TNT 20s will grow. And from there, I think the partnership between Aether and Theta will also grow. So looking forward to seeing how this all plays out with all of you. I hope you are all doing well. Look forward to hearing some of the comments in Telegram and all over the place, Discord, across all social media channels about how your experience is with engaging with the new elite booster. All right. I hope you all are doing well. I will see you all on T-Fuel Island. Take care. Bye-bye.